Hey y'all, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today is February 25th. Yeah, I'm still vlogging. I just decided um, to end the last video and then pick up here with a new one because I didn't want it to be so insanely long. Um, I'm not feeling that great, which is why I decided to start a vlog again. Um, I'm actually starting to feel really, really sick off and on and super dizzy. Um, I have to like keep checking my blood pressure and like my vision's going in and out. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if it's just a Theo attack or I don't know if I'm heading into an adrenal crisis. So I need to try to figure that out and I figured I'm going to take you guys along for the little ride, the little journey here. Um, I was like a little bit hungry, like able, not really hungry, but like able to get food in. So I did that just to see if that helps. I wasn't sure also like it could be also a sugar issue. So it could be so many things, but I'm so symptomatic at the moment and just so drained. So we will see and I'll keep you guys updated. I'm really hoping and praying I don't have to do another solumedrol injection. I don't really want to have to do that just because I'll be up most of the night. So, but side note, this rare disease day video guys is coming along. I am so excited. Like it's going to be kind of simple and you know, nothing like elaborate or fancy, but I'm really excited like just to be able to contribute a little bit to rare disease day. And I feel like it's going to be better than last year's video, which makes me so excited and happy. This video though, you guys are going to be seeing way after rare disease day. So, okay, labs are drawn. Um, like I said, ran into an allergen again. Apparently, it doesn't matter if you go over your allergy list with people like, oh my gosh, it's so frustrating. Then the nurse is like, well, it's not my job to know when they cleaned. Okay, thanks. Like, <laughs> that really helps, you know, like people getting real upset and frustrated. Thankfully, I'm not bleeding too much. We asked her if I could have tape, like the tape that they wrap around your arm, the medical tape. They had like five rolls out and she gave me regular generic tape. And I always bleed through with that. Especially recently, again, I started bleeding a lot. So apparently whatever, like, I don't know if I bleed necessarily from HHT, if it's EDS or a mast cell, or if it's a combination or whatever else is going on, to be honest. Um, so um, at times it all cycles and every, I don't even know like how often, once in a blue moon, um, it flares up and then like everything, every little thing makes me bleed and I bleed like a little maniac and it's just, it's crazy, but people don't like to listen and then it's just like on the patient, like trying to obviously navigate stuff. <sighs> it's just really frustrating. And I'm just like, I keep saying I'm so exhausted from everything going on, guys. And I'm just so ready to go home. We stopped at Soon's to grab some apples for the deers. And hopefully some soup. Maybe some shortbread cookies. Um, yeah, I love their shortbread cookies. And yeah, they're really, they're really adorable. Those are the adorable cookies that occasionally I show. Because I think they're super great and they're super cute. So, I don't even know honestly what I'm going to tolerate doing the rest of the day. And I'm so, so stinking sweaty. I'm not, I actually do know what I'm going to be tolerating the rest of the day and I'm not happy. Um, cause I'm not going to really tolerate much. Uh, the reaction was, you know, so, so it could have been a lot worse. I know that I'm thankful that it wasn't, especially considering all the Zolaer, you know, stuff and all the things with mass cell, but I'm really frustrated to be in another severe reaction. Every time I go out, I'm like, end up having a severe reaction and it's so annoying. And I'm just very whiny apparently right now. Sorry. But I'm just really tired from the solumedrol. So solumedrol is an injectable steroid that I pushed through my line today for my allergic reaction and my adrenal insufficiency so that I can compensate, you know, with my cortisone that it doesn't drop deadly low because of the reaction and I can kind of still, you know, function, stay alive, all that good stuff. 
Uh, it's a very helpful drug, but for me in the beginning, it is it, it's very painful. So I take the solumedrol and um, I end up in a ton more pain, unfortunately, for the first, like, I think it's about 6 to 12 hours, I would say. So once that wears off, it'll get easier, like the pain. Um, I just get like a lot of symptoms. I know that's just like my body, like trying to figure out what to do with it and all that good jazz, but I get pretty weak. And then I assume that like my body releases those other hormones, like in response to everything. So I just don't feel good. I am sweating, so I'm going into a theo attack. So pressure should bump up. So once that happens, I'm just going to unhook from saline for the day and just take a break, call it a day, and then we'll see what we can get done tomorrow. My doctor said, though, that we're just going to infuse right now as needed, um, so I will be on basically, again, a fluctuating schedule, whatever my body tolerates, and go from there. Um, unfortunately, that could be one bag some weeks, that could be all four others, so it's not going to be quite as consistent, which can be difficult for my other symptoms. Like, I understand, obviously, it really does impact blood pressure, but saline, I was reading, also helps with mast cell activation syndrome reactions, and it also can help with pain and a bunch of other things. So, it's like, yeah, I understand with the pressure that you got to be careful, but then, like, you can end up with additional symptoms, so... And then with taking solumedrol, I don't know if I will be able to sleep tonight or not, so that could be a problem. So it's just, you know, all these little things, and I'm pretty, pretty tired, pretty sweaty. Like I said, I don't like the Theo sweat. It's disgusting, and um, it's itchy. I always react from the sweat, like from the hormones. I'm allergic to them, so I'm allergic to everything I feel like. It's so annoying. So, I don't know. I guess for the rest of the day, I'm just going to be resting, basically. Once I get home, probably just going to set up, you know, a little area with Abby and kind of just hang out until bedtime. Um, oh, and I have to try to finish this Rare Disease Day video that I'm working on for y'all. I am actually so super excited, guys, for my Rare Disease video. I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. So, I have some of my friends, and, like, I put it on Facebook and Instagram and ask people to um, tell me what's your rare disease and give me a photo and I'm going to string them together and make a video. I have another video idea. I don't know necessarily when that video is getting recorded. Um, so that might be just a random awareness video. I'm not certain what I'm doing with that quite yet, but we're working on it. Side note too, my PCP loves me. I'm so, so thankful for her, guys. Oh my gosh, she's so amazing. She ordered me antibiotics. I can't wait. Nice tea from Quick Check. I love tea. Tea is like my favorite thing. It's so comforting. It helps with symptoms. Helps to keep anxiety down. Warms you up. I mean, hydrates you, which is always good with pots. What more could you ask for, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so she ordered me antibiotics for my little mouth infection, and next we're going to be stopping at the pharmacy, so I'm really excited to get that in my system, and to hopefully get this mouth pain again behind me, because I don't do well, guys, with this pain in my mouth. Oh my goodness, like, I've been having anxiety about the whole mouth situation. Once I saw that last night, I was like ready to cry. I was like, oh my gosh, because I remember the pain that I had after surgery in my mouth. It was so stinking awful. All I did was scream and cry, which I feel like, you know, I've been doing way too much recently. Um, but you know, it happens and I'm honest about it. Um, everything, like I said, is pretty much a struggle, unfortunately. Um, and like I told you guys, before, not even that long ago, that I had my butterfly come out, so I was already anticipating a lot of symptoms, so now I'm like, eh, well, not much you can do but kind of hunker down, do all the things, the treatments, the pills, um, try to manage as best as possible, and just, like, rest. So, it's already two in the afternoon. By the time I get home, it's probably going to be, like, three or four, honestly, if not later. Ugh. So, um... 
Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna rest, like I said, till dinner. I mean, there's nothing, nothing that can't wait, you know what I mean? And then after that, I'm just gonna take care of Abby and get ready for tomorrow because I take a lot of time each evening and get everything kind of set up for the next morning because mornings are always difficult and tomorrow I am planning on going out for a little bit. I have something that I need to pick up, a little thing that I need to do. Nothing, nothing exciting. Everything's always medical, so... Other than that, though, I don't really have much going on, thankfully. And thankfully, as you all know, like, all my Proverbs stuff is super, super flexible. So, that really does help me. And I'm so thankful for that. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I am going to two conferences um, this spring. One is in March, and that is called the IF Gathering. I'll put the information in the description. I'm going to be getting the All Access Pass, I believe it's called. This way, I don't have to attend all the sessions live, because we all know that's so not happening. I am, though, going to try to attend their breakout sessions, so um, go ahead and sign up. Maybe I'll see you there. That would be really fun. Um, I love getting to, like, interact with you guys and meet you, even though it takes me forever and a half sometimes to respond to comments, but I do love them, and I love just, you know, getting to chat with you guys. It's so fun. Um, and then I'm going to one in April. I don't remember the dates for that. I feel like it's maybe the 24th or so. Um, and that one is called, I think, Heal. And again, I'll put the information in the description box. Um, that one is geared towards individuals with chronic illness. The other one is just a regular generic Christian retreat, conference, whatever. Um, regardless, though, like, I'm excited. Like I said, it's been a really long time since I've been able to really attend anything like this. And as I'm speaking, I'm starting to, like, feel a little bit sicker. Which, yeah. A little bit. A little bit dizzy. I should probably check my BP. craziness it's hard guys like when abby is not with me because <laughs> then i have to be responsible for all of this oh my goodness okay here it is so yeah i'm really excited about those conferences i want to like do a video more so like on bible study and like what i'm reading and you know those types of things but i just haven't felt up to it at all and i am trying obviously to give myself grace with everything which is hard you know Okay, let's see where we're at. Alright, so it's semi-low, but not low enough to be causing these symptoms, I don't believe. Um, it did go up earlier. I was at 90 over 30. Now I'm at 119.65. Heart rate is 117. This does usually read the heart rate a little bit lower. Um, so it's probably honestly between 120 and 127. So that's probably where we're at. Um, I use a rely on in case anybody's wondering. I believe I picked it up at Walmart quite a few years ago at this rate. Um, this has been my only BP cuff, to be honest with you, and I've had it since I've had pots, so, ugh. I have such a big mess over here, so I am just going to clean up my little mess over here while I wait for my mom, and I think that's it for this video, guys. Ooh. Hudson! Hudson, Hi. come! Hudson! Hi, babe! Hi, come here! Hudson! He's like, what? Whoops. Okay, come here. It's okay. Uh. Come here, boy. Hi, baby. What's up? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. I have more. I haven't seen you, man, in so long. How have you been? You look good. You're like, yes, you taste good. Snacks, right? You're like, snacks, snacks. You love to help people shop, right? You're good at it, man, right? Yeah, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. You don't got no moon face no more. You look good. I think you lost most of your steroid weight, man. You know that? You look real good. You had like a heart um, and infection thing going on a while back. 
And he was on the steroids for a bit. I think prednisone, actually. Put on a lot of weight, but he's lost most of it because he's such an active dog. He, he owns the farm and the store and all the people who visit, you know, one of those. He's in charge of everybody and everything, but he's a good boy. I love this place. It's so cute. Hudson! Bye, Hudson! Okay, guys, so I think that's it for this video. So we're going to just keep moving forward and try to find joy in the journey. Thank you so much for joining me from the bottom of my heart. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.